All right. Hello, students. Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the final video for your chapter 2. And in this last and the final video, we are going to find the value of given numbers. Right. We have to do either a sum or a multiplication or a division or something like that. And we'll be finding the final value. So the first question that I have for you is, there is a number 297 multiplied by 17 plus 293 multiplied by number 3. Right. So we have to find the value for this specific given number. Now I know that 1717 right plus 3 is equal to 20 and this number 297 is common in both these terms. If you see there is a sum, there is an addition over here, there is a sign or a symbol of addition over here right and on both the side of that addition there is a number 297. So what I can do is I'll just take off 297 on one side and multiply that to the sum or to the sum of 17 plus 3 that is equal to 20. 17 plus 3, 20 hota, correct? So I did that and we got 297 into into 20 and then we are just going to multiply this and it becomes really easy for us, right? And the final answer is 5940, correct? In the same way, can you help me find the value of 738 multiplied by 103? Now this is a difficult number because dono hi numbers are very big, right? 738 or 103, dono hi bahut bade hain. Agar aapko aisa lag raha, if you're feeling, if you're getting that feeling that this is going to be really difficult for me, then don't worry, don't panic. It's going to be really easy. Trust me. So what we are going to do is, me pata hai 103 ko do numbers mein baant dete hain. That is 100 plus 3. That is equal to 103, right? So I did the same thing. 100 plus 3 is equal to 103. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 738 by 100 also and I'm going to multiply 738 by 3 also. So easy ho multiply karna, right? It, be, it would become really easy for us. And that's what we did. 738 multiplied by 100 plus 738 coming from here plus we are multiplying that by 3, right? And the final answer comes to 76014, okay? Okay. So the next question that we are going to take up is, is, is the question number 5 as you can see on the screen which is directly coming from your textbook, right? We will first of all try to read the question and try to understand what exactly it is saying. A taxi driver filled his car petrol tank with 40 liters of petrol on Monday. The next day he filled the tank with 50 liters of petrol. Matlab Monday ko usne 40 liters bhada aur next day Tuesday ko usne 50 liters ka petrol apne gaadi mein dala. If the petrol cost rupees 44 per liter, how much did he spend in all on petrol? That is the question. So total, we know that 50 plus 40, 90 liter petrol driver has put in taxi, mein dala hai, right? 50 plus 40, 40 Monday or 50 Tuesday. Ko. And 90 liter petrol ko, jo price hai per liter is 44 rupees. The price of 90 liter petrol per liter is going to be 44 rupees as given in the sum. Right? So we have to find the total price which is going to be simple. 90 multiplied by 44, right? So as we saw, on Monday the taxi driver got 40 liter, on Tuesday he got 50 liters of petrol and the price per liter is equal to 44 rupees. So what is the total cost? So we are just going to do the sum of this, 5 plus 4, 9 and 0, that is 90 liter of petrol, right? 90 liter of petrol and the price per liter is equal to 44 rupees. So if I just multiply these two numbers, I would get 3... 9, 6 and 0, of course, that is what the final price is in terms of rupees. 3, 9, 6, 0 is the final price that the taxi driver paid to get the 90 liter of petrol, okay? All right, students, the next question that we are going to take up is question number 6 from your exercise and this is, let's read out the question. A vendor supplies 32 liter of milk to a hotel in the morning and 68 liter of milk in the evening. So, vendor ne kitna milk supply kiya hai? 32 liter morning mein kiya hai aur 68 liter evening mein kiya hai, right? Agar aap in dono ka sum karenge to kitna hoga? If you just add up these two numbers, what would be the total number? 32 plus, six, uh, 32 plus 68, 100 hota hai, right? Now, if the milk cost rupees 15 per liter, how much money is due to the vendor per day? यहाँ पे हमको प्राइस भी बताई गई है अगर 1 लीटर मिल्क का प्राइस है 15 रुपीस 15 रुपीस सो so, हमको 1 लीटर प्राइस की 1 लीटर मिल्क की प्राइस भी बताई गई है व्हिच इज रुपीस 15 एंड द वेंडर इज डिलीवरिंग 100 
लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क पर डे राइट सो उसका टोटल इनकम पर डे कितना होगा एनी आइडिया एनी गैसेस ऑफकोर्स इट सिंपल इज गोइंग टू बी वन फाइव जीरो एंड जीरो दैट इज सिंपल आई एम सो सॉरी दिस इज हैविंग सच अ पोअर क्वालिटी मार्कर दैट इज रुपीज वन फाइव जीरो जीरो राइट दिस इज द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दैट द वेंडर इज और द मिल्क मैन इज जनरेटिंग पर डे बाई सेलिंग इज मिल्क so i think that pretty much completes our exercises and and the chapter chapter 2 in in detail um i'll not be taking up any exercise or ex any sum from exercise 2.3 for a simple reason it's it's all that you have learned in exercise 2.1 and 2.2 you are going to do in 2.3 2.3 unhi exercises ka thoda sa detailed version hai just try to use your mind just try to use your logic just try to use your uh, brains and and i'm pretty much sure that you will be able to solve all those sums given in exercise 2.3 as well thank you very much have a great and a blessed day stay safe bye bye